Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Janae and we're going to be doing an unbagging and an unboxing. The bag comes from Diamond Pens off of Facebook and this box comes from Crystal Arts and we'll open this in a few minutes but let's open up the bag first. I have already opened the top of the bag but as you can see I have not opened up what's inside. So we're going to open up this pin that I got off of Diamond Pins off of Facebook and again how you can get one of these beautiful pins is joining their Facebook group. They have three sales in each sale, I believe there is an auction pin and then there could be up to eight pins during the sale. And what you would wanna do is look at those pictures. If you want to purchase that pin, you would go underneath each picture into the comment box and put me or me too or interested, just so that they're aware that you're interested in purchasing that pin. And then at the time of close, they'll do a random name generator and pick out the person that will um, ultimately purchase the pin. So this is one of the pins that I had decided I really wanted. I was lucky enough to be picked for this pin and we're going to take a look at it. So again, this is from Diamond Pins and I will link all that information um, in regards to the, the group down below in the description. So let's take a look. Oh wow. This is beautiful. So I'm going to bring this up to the camera so that you can see this. It's gorgeous. Now this is actually wood and it is just beautiful. I love the color on this. It's got some really nice greens and almost looks purple to me but again this is a wood pin is really pretty and it feels very nice in the hand it's light it's not very heavy beautiful so it comes with a single placer but then they also give you oops there so it doesn't roll off. They also give you three sizes of multi-placers. So you've got, this looks like a nine, a four, and a three placer. And then you also receive two of the separator or correctors. And that's what you get when you purchase a pin from Diamond Pins. So again, I will have that information linked down below in the description if you're interested in taking a look at their gorgeous pens. And here it is again. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys, but this is gorgeous, gorgeous. And I think what I'm gonna do with this is give it to my sister for Christmas. Hopefully she's not watching. <laughs> That's, uh, what my plan is, is to gift this to my sister for Christmas. Beautiful pin. All right. Let's now look at this painting. So again, this comes from Crystal Arts. This is a 40 by 50. Let me show you what the thumbnail will look like. So that is what the painting is going to look like once it's completed. And as you can see, it says it's a 40 by 50. Now, oddly enough, this is the first time I've ever received a box without it either being covered in plastic or in a box itself. So yeah, I thought this was a little bit different, but I'm okay with it. And look at the condition in this box. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this box at all. It is completely intact. 
So I'm really impressed with how this was shipped. There's a little bit of a dent right there, but nothing to be overly concerned about. Now on the box, it also has the six steps of diamond painting here. And it is also branded, sorry, bring it over here. And it says Crystal Arts Diamond Painting New Experience. So this is going to be beautiful. One thing about Crystal Arts is they sell only crystal diamond paintings. So let's open up this box and take a look and see what's inside. So I hope everybody is having a great day. It is really cold out today here in Winnipeg. It is about, uh, I would say minus 27. And um, yeah, my husband's like, oh, we gotta go grocery shopping. I'm like, yeah, you go right ahead. <laughs> I don't wanna go in that weather. It is just brutal cold. So no, not for me. I am so looking forward to um, February when we head down to Mexico again. So it's gonna be really, really nice. So we'll, we'll just leave that there. All right, so if you're new to diamond painting, welcome to the community. And we are going to show you this beautiful kit. And if you are new to diamond painting and haven't actually done a painting yet, there are always three things that you will receive in your kit. You'll receive a tool kit, a canvas and drills. So you will receive everything that you need to put your kit together. Now, let's go over the toolkit that is provided with this particular painting. And I am opening this up because I have never received a square tray before. So this is different for me. So let's take this out. All right, look at that. A square tray. <laughs> I've never had one, so this is going to be nice. Um, I like the fact that the ridges are nice and deep. So this is great. Looks like one size is 2.5 millimeters, um, and then the other side is 2.8 millimeters. Okay, that's a little different, but like it. And I'm going to um, I'm going to try it out. See how it how it works. Also in your kit, you're gonna receive a single placer diamond painting pin, and also a pair of tweezers. Now these tweezers are what I call kind of cheap. They're flimsy metal tweezers. However, if you don't like these tweezers, what you can do is go to your nearest dollar store and buy yourself a pair of heavy duty tweezers and you may spend two dollars. So some of the kits that you receive come with tweezers like this and I just throw these out because as far as I'm concerned, they're not, um, they're just not a pair of tweezers I would use. They're just too flimsy. You also get a nice plate of wax. This is a pretty big one, so that's nice. So this is your toolkit that you would receive from Crystal Arts and you know it's basic but um, doable I really am looking forward to trying this out so we're just gonna put this off to the side all right so now we're gonna look at this canvas and there are the drills we'll put those off to the side and let's take a look okay Okay, hey, this is poured glue, so I'm gonna flip it upside down. Now again, if you're new to diamond painting and you want to straighten out your canvas, if it is poured glue, you can do it this way. You can flip it upside down and roll it the opposite direction and that will help straighten this canvas out. However, if this is double-sided adhesive, I would not recommend doing this. It can cause some issues with the adhesive but with poured glue, you're safe to do it this way. So what I do is I'll take the corners and I'll flip it up. Ooh, I like that legend. Wow, 
Okay, stay on track. <laughs> so flip it up like this, and you're gonna roll it where you see the drill field up instead of down. Now you don't have to roll it super tight. The goal is basically to roll it backwards and let it sit like this for about 30 seconds. And then that way it straightens out the canvas and you can take a good look at the drill field and the schematic. Um, so that's what the purpose is. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and let it go. Wow. All right, so there is the picture. Now, those of you that have been following me for a while, you know I love my landscape paintings. I love them. <laughs> and if it has anything to do with the ocean, even better. <laughs> so this is an ocean scene and um, it's beautiful. What I'm seeing in the viewfinder, it's gorgeous. And it's gonna have a lot of detail, especially around this part of the painting and then if I bring this up you'll see all of the flowers through here the um, nice door here you've got a flower pot and flowers through here um, a hedge through here and then you've got your water scene through here so this is going to have some really amazing detail now this is a 40 by 50 and we're going to measure this real quick because I have not purchased from this store before and I just want to make sure that it measures true to size. So we're going to take the measuring tape and measure this. Oops. So this here is a little over 50 centimeters. And then I'm just going to do this. And this is 40 centimeters. So it's a little over 50, which is fine. And it's 40, so definitely true to size. And uh, the drill field is crystal clear. And I have to show you the schematic. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> so I'm thankful that it's this big. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I have a far better success with my camera if I move my camera down towards the painting versus lifting the painting up to it. So I'm going to pause the camera and bring it down so I can show you the clarity of the drill field and this amazing schematic. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back again, and I'm just gonna bring this up just a little bit so that you can see the clarity of this drill field. And it is very, very clear. I do apologize for the bit of glare. Now we're also gonna show you the um, schematic here. And as I said, this schematic is perfect size for, sorry about the glare again, perfect size for those of us that, you know, wear bifocals. So this is a great size, nice and big, very clear. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, and pull this back so that the glare won't be as bad. So here we go. So nice and clear, like I said, beautiful schematic. Okay, and now that I've got the plastic pulled aside, I'm just gonna bring this up again so that you can see the clarity of that drill field. It's beautiful, guys, beautiful. One thing I did notice, especially up here in the uh, sky area, I'm just gonna bring this down right in here. One thing I've noticed, no training wheels. I love that. Now when you go into where the colors change a bit, there is a bit of a circle there, but if you notice there are no dark or black circles around there, so it should 
blend in nicely with those crystals. Beautiful. I'm just going to bring this up so that you can see the darker colors, the green. So as you can see, the training wheels on there, they, there's no black lines circling those symbols. And that to me is important. Okay, so we're going to put this back on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it upside down. And the reason why we're doing this is so that I can go over the drills with you. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you these beautiful drills. But before we open this bag, what I'd like to do is pause the camera so that way I can take the drills out of the bag and you don't have to listen to that annoying crinkly crackly sound. I do realize that there are people out there that are sensitive to that sound. So out of respect to you, I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera, take the drills out of that bag, and that way it eliminates that annoying sound. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back. And so let's show you some of these gorgeous, beautiful diamonds. So here is a really nice dark purple and you know I'm going to go ahead and take some of these out. The reason why I do that is because sometimes it's really hard to see these facets um, when they're on their backs and I really would like to show you what they look like. So let me get a tray here that doesn't have drills in it. <laughs> So here are those really nice dark purples. They're beautiful drills. Okay, so we're just going to put those back. And if they're dark and they're hard to see, I'm going to pour them in the tray so that you can take a look at them. Okay, so here is 310. Sorry about that. So there are your three tens. Now this is a dark smoky gray. Let me show you. If I can open the bag. And these are really pretty too. So there they are. It's a really dark, smoky gray. Okay. And here is a ruby red. And this one is a dark blue. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. Okay, and then we've got um, really not sure what you would even classify these other than to me they look more of a dark amber. But beautiful. And then we've got some yellows here. Ooh, these are pretty. These are really pretty. This is a dark bluish purple. Let's see if I can get them to come up right. Really pretty colors. And then we're going into purple colors. So here's one. And these are kind of a hot pink. I'm so sorry, they're not flipping up right. 
So let me see if I can move them around a little bit. There we go. Really pretty colors, guys. These are really pretty. Um, here's another ruby red. Ooh, here's a green. Now these look like they're just clear glass. Kind of a, don't know if you can see those, but they don't really have much color to them. And then this one here is a really pretty purple. Ooh, here's a beautiful blue. Another nice blue. And this one here is another smoky dark gold bronze color. So I'm going to take these ones out because they're harder to see. And when those backs don't want to flip over, it's really difficult to show you. So let's take them out and show you what these look like. There you go. They're really pretty. Look at the shine off of those. Really beautiful drills. So here is a really light pale blue. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Oh yeah, they come up. Really pretty pale blue. And then this one is a real dark blue here. And then we've got an orange red. Now this is a really light yellow, so I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Really pretty. Ooh, here's another pink or fuchsia. And a dark aqua green. That's pretty. Looks like there's a Oh no, that's just from the camera. So that bit of red that you're seeing in there, that's actually from my camera. But really pretty colors, guys. Really pretty. Look at this one. That is going to be amazing, that one. And we've got this really pretty light mint green. That's going to be pretty too. And then this one is a little bit lighter than the color that I just showed you. It's more of a real light pale blue green. And we've got another beautiful purple. Love those purples. Oh, you guys can't see it because the backs are up. Let's see if I can move them around a bit. There we go. Really pretty purple. And then this one here is a smoky purple. So I'm just going to bring them out so you can see them. So look at those. Those are really pretty. And they're, like I said, a dark smoky purple. Really pretty. I hope you guys can see those. Okay, and one more color to show you. And that is this one here. It's a little bit, I would say darker than the color I just showed you, but it is purple. And I have to say, I really do like the quality of these diamonds. These are beautiful. 
beautiful crystals. Beautiful. All right, everyone, what I'm gonna do is pause the camera again. We're going to put the drills away and, and turn the canvas over so that we can take one more look at this beautiful painting. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back again, and here it is, this beautiful canvas. This is, again, a 40 by 50 full round crystal drill. This comes from Crystal Arts, and I purchased this on December 2nd. I received it on December 10th. My first impression of this painting is it's gorgeous, and a couple of things I want to point out before we close. I love the fact that their legend is big and the drill field is very clear. Oh, we didn't check the tackiness of the, the uh, adhesive. It's very tacky. Oops. And I guess I need to put that down a little bit better. <laughs> um, I like the fact that there are no training wheels and in the darker colors, even though there is a circle, it is not highlighted with black circles around it. Perfect, love that. Love the detail on this canvas. It's true to size and poured glue. You can't ask for a better, better painting. Now also, the quality of their drills, to me, from what I can see, are really good. I didn't see any garbage. However, we all know that crystals could produce a lot more garbage than our regular facets, but from what I could tell, I didn't see any garbage there. So at this point, it's going to be hard to say. Now, I will be doing a full post review once this painting is completed, and I look forward to doing this. So by saying that, everyone, if you like the video, please give it that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you didn't like the video, I'm totally okay with that. But if you can be so kind as to go down below in the comments and let me know what you didn't like about the video. That way it helps me improve my videos in the future. Also, if you're new to the channel, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. Also, don't forget to hit the bell, which is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell will indicate when I've uploaded my next video. So by saying that, everyone, if this is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If this is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if this is evening for you, have a very restful evening. Again, my name is Janae, and thank you for joining me today on The Review. We'll talk again real soon. Bye, everyone.